Hi guys! My voice probably sounds horrible because I'm so sick right now. I wanted to do this video. It is January 2nd. I wanted to get it close as possible to the beginning of the year because we are going to look back on my video that I did. I did a video I think two weeks into January of 2016 to talk about my five like goals or resolutions I wanted to do for 2016. And then I told you guys we were going to watch that video back and see if I did those in 2016. Also, I'm going to show you guys or tell you guys another five that I'm gonna try to do for this year, 2017. So I got my trusty laptop here. I am going to watch each little thing that I am um, saying for what I wanted to accomplish and I will answer myself back to you guys. Alright, so number one, I wrote down to save money to move out. You can see, I accomplished that! I'm really happy I did accomplish saving up enough money to move out to this apartment. I got a job here in the city. The city is four min 40 minutes away from my hometown. Um, with traffic, it makes it around almost an hour. So there, I started, if you guys were following me before, I was working in a playlist closet, and then I found this job online, came out here for the interview, got it. I knew it was gonna be a struggle with the um, commuting, so I honestly didn't even think about moving out like to like here. Honestly, when I got this job, I was commuting by train, and I was commuting by driving my car, but then with the gas, I did move to train. But I wanted to move out more or less, even if I just stayed in my own town, I just wanted to move out after graduating college. Number two is research new ideas for my business. Um, I have my own business called Golden Spectrum. I am going to do another video on this, like kind of because I said I got requested to do a video on how to do crashes and how to get into like doing your own kind of craft business. That's how I said to research more about my business. Um, I did more than that. I. Uh, just did a lot of shows, looked up like places like outside of my hometown and like the central area of Pennsylvania to show my work. I'm getting all into it because that definitely is a lot of info for like a whole nother video. But yeah, I think I, I did that really well my like I like with my first year graduating and first year after graduating and just being able to bring up something. I made a lot of profit. I've put a lot of time and effort into it. And now into this year, I know how to go about it in bigger and even better. Third thing is, which isn't obvious, everyone should be doing this, make time for yourself, otherwise known as treat yourself. So this one, I do this all the time. But yeah, the whole treat yourself thing, I treated myself to a lot of things in 2016. A lot of opportunities. I went to a Nick and Demi um, concert. I'll actually put a picture in here. My friend just had an extra ticket. She asked me if I wanted to come, and we were so close to the stage, and that was a lot of fun. Then there were times I went to the beach, and Kyle is from New Jersey, but now he lives here with me, but he's from New Jersey. So there were times I wanted to visit him, went to the beach. Weekend, like getaways with my friends, like going to like the malls or like. I don't know, just going out to the movies. So I did have a lot of fun treat myself times. It was pretty, it was nice knowing that like not being in school anymore and just like when you get off work, you leave work at work. I mean, there's some people who have jobs where they have to take it home with them, but my job was like you work and then you just go home and then you just deal with it the next day. So it was nice after graduating my first full-time job just being able to just enjoy myself and not worry about any schoolwork, no tests to study for, no projects, no papers. It's so nice. These two are YouTube related. Um, with my last two, this channel, I am actually putting myself on a schedule. All right, I said about putting myself on the schedule. That did not happen. Only because it didn't happen because I was working at Playlist at the time. I had such a crazy schedule with that job. Um, it was like one day I was off, then one day I had to close, and the next day I had to open. So it was just really hard for me to like plan a video and like sit down and talk and edit it, you know. And just days when I got home, I was just kind of like, oh, I don't feel like doing this. And that's why you guys saw in that March update video, I did become a key holder at that time, and I didn't have time because they had me literally working every single day. I had to open the store sometimes and even come back and close like some days, like it was crazy. So yeah, that's why I went on that huge hiatus, which 
you know, life happens, you know, I miss doing YouTube, I was still on YouTube watching, but I didn't, like, I went from March to, like, November, and the, the channel was dead, I realized I did lose a lot of subscribers, and my fifth, um, resolution on here was, I think I said that I wanted to get to a thousand subscribers, I'm still not there yet, I am as of, let's see, today, 44 away, so, yeah, it's not that big of a deal to me now, but I mean, if I did hit a thousand, like, in this year, that'd be awesome, but that's actually not one of my resolutions. I think I'm gonna, in the new year, still try to make content, but it's not gonna be on a schedule, because obviously my life is just, I don't know, what like, each day, like, how I, like, I can't, I commemorate you if you guys do, like, videos, like, where you can do, like, up, like, every Tuesday, this video's up, but I, I just can't do that. So now is the time where I'm going to, I put on my phone here, my five um, resolutions for this year, and then like I said, we will look back on this video in 2018 and see if I fulfilled these five resolutions. The first one is find a job that gives me more happiness, gives me more happiness than the job I was at before. All right, I'm gonna get serious here. Um, on December 30th, which was like three days ago, um, I got let go from my job. It's been kind of hard. I have been, even though you guys saw that semi-annual video and I'm like, yeah, but internally I was like, oh, because I was still sad about everything. My mom came up that day, took me out to lunch. We talked about things. Everything right now is all right because I know things are okay. I have Kyle here with me, he's working. But at the same time, I've been applying for jobs. Just right now, I feel for me, it's just since it's like a new year, it's just weird how it happened so close to the end of the year that it's just like, well, start the new year. And I never would have thought this would have happened to me. Like, if you told me when, like, I don't know, like two months ago this was going to happen, I would have not believed you. It's fine. I, I'm, I'm over it. I pick up my last check on Thursday. Um, I'm just going to focus on wolf inspections right now. Applying for jobs, waiting to hear back from them. You know, since, like, New Year's just happened, so obviously I probably won't hear back from them for the next couple weeks or so. But, you know, just living my life, giving myself my own personal happiness, and just trying to find what I want to do and what path I want to go on. You know, it's like a... This is, like, a growing process for me. It's like a breakup. Like, you know, you kind of just pick yourself back up and then you just kind of go from there. Second one is save money separately for Black Friday and Christmas and along with saving money in general. So with the saving money separately for Black Friday and Christmas, you always see people like going like, oh my God, swiping their cards left and right, whatever, for the Christmas season. And they feel like they don't have enough money when it gets around the Christmas season. I actually found something really cool. Like someone posted on Facebook, not like one of my Facebook friends, but someone like reposted it from somewhere. But it said something about buying like a gift card. It could be like a gift card, like a Visa prepaid gift card thing. Like you can swipe anywhere, like one of those credit card thingies. Um, like, you know, like any price you want to do, like 20, like 10, 20, 30, 40, like dollars, 50 dollars. And you buy one once a month. So then by the time it's November and you just put them away in an envelope and by the time it's November when it's Black Friday, you have like literally like 400, 500 dollars. Like, and you can use those gift cards to buy gifts for people. And I think that's an awesome idea. I don't want to do that, so hopefully I stick to that. I really want to do that this year. Even though, yeah, with my situation right now, I still feel like I can still do it, you know, even if it's just like a $10 gift card, you know, but that would be nice at the end of the, like, year to see if I do that. Also with the saving money, you know, just getting into a routine of what to put aside. I still save all my coins. I put ones away. But yeah, it's just all a process. Third one is, I kind of touched on this already, get back into YouTube and showing more content. I want to do more advice videos, talk more about my business, bring you guys along like vlog wise, like for my craft shows, and then just vlog my fun times. Because like I said, this channel is for me, this channel is like my virtual diary. I watch back on my videos a lot, not because I'm like self-absorbed or anything, just like, ooh, I like watching pictures of myself. No, like I watch back because I like hearing like what my mind and what was going on in my life at that time, opposed to now in the present. I don't know, it's very interesting to me. I do wanna get back into YouTube, because I did miss doing this. I do miss talking to you guys, just talking to like people, and like I have people who comment, who like when I came back, they were like, I missed you. Like, I don't even know who you are, but that's awesome. Like, you missed me, like, and you missed my content. Like, it's cool that like people actually watch me, 
and my channel and I'm so happy to have you guys along for the journey. And then the last one is make time for fun events and adventures, which obviously I still do. But I want to do definitely now that me and Kyle live together, I want to make more time out for us. Travel places, I mean not like spending a whole bunch of money, but even like for like a day, like maybe travel to like the beach or something, like a day, day at the beach or like going to New York City, which I'm still trying to plan that. I was going to do that for us for Christmas, but it was just not the right timing. So, like, just little trips like that, like, you know, and then with friends, too. I'm going to go back to my hometown. I'm not going to forget my friends. I'm still going to go see them. I'm excited to see what the new year brings. Uh, this, <laughs> the start of this year did not start off the best. It's only two days in, and I'm just like, why? I know it'll be okay, but I did want to do this for you guys and show you guys, like, how I did basically complete, I think it was at least three of the five of my, um, resolutions that I did accomplish, so I'm proud of myself for that. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you guys have a great day. All right.